Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Ben, or Inside Game News, and I'm bringing you today some very exciting Black Ops 2 news about how many levels are going to be in each prestige. It's been one of the most recurrently asked questions over the past few weeks that I've received, and so now I can give you a solid answer and tell you how many levels are going to be in each prestige and what kind of stuff we can expect to lock at each single level. So the max level in Black Ops 2 multiplayer is 5 more than it was in the first Black Ops and uh, 25 less than it was in Modern Warfare 3, that's quick maths for you that is. Um, so it is level 55 and as I've said it's a lot less than it was in Modern Warfare 3 because to be honest I think everybody found that a little bit tiresome a bit tedious trying to get up to those high levels because those high levels take a long time to get off and when you've got 25 more of them in each prestige it takes a long time to prestige believe me so david von Hall recently revealed this and to cut a long quote short he basically said that of course you start at level one and then when you've leveled up to level four after that long tedious journey up to level four um you then unlock the creator class system and you'll have four unlock tokens one for every single level that you have gone up and you'll continue to get these tokens every single level that you go up and you can use these tokens to buy stuff in the creator class system for example you'll be able to unlock weapons attachments and um, these new things which are called wild cards which allow you to basically customize your uh, creator class system quite a lot so that you can have six perks and one primary weapon or just two primary weapons and three perks you can have basically loads of different wild cards which enable you to um, customize your creator class to your kind of needs so presuming that all of these things only cost one token you should be able to unlock one weapon one wild card one perk or whatever you want um, every single level that you go up and also in some of the games com footage that we saw, we saw introduced the 10 points or 10 token system, which they have introduced into Black Ops 2, which is basically um, a new system in Creator Class where you have 10 points and you can spend them on whatever you like. So a gun costs one point, a perk costs one point, a wild card which further enables you to customise your loadout costs one point, and all of these things cost one point and they all add up and as long as they're below the 10 points mark then you can have them in the game so these wild cards as I've already explained they allow you to basically have either like two primary weapons or um, no primary weapons and you can just have a knife and have six perks so it's going to be really interesting to see what kind of stuff people can make up out of these uh, wild cards but of course to choose these things in this creator class system you have to have already unlocked them like you did in the first Black Ops and you unlock them by using these unlock tokens which you get by levelling up, so it all kind of interlinks into one massive structure of creator class levelling up -ness thing. That's probably not the best way to describe it, but you get the gist. But that is not the end of the story, you will not get to unlock everything after one prestige. After all, there are only 55 levels, so there are only 55 unlock tokens available on the first prestige, and there are over 100 items to unlock, which means there is more of an incentive to prestige. To make sure that you've unlocked everything, to make sure you're not missing out on everything. And all these unlocks will be level gated, which basically means that you unlock them at certain levels, so you cannot just buy the best weapon at rank number four. And Vonderhaar also revealed that they are tinkering with a kind of prestige shop kind of system that we saw in Modern Warfare 3, where you can choose something to um to you can choose an unlock to go through to a next prestige. So it probably won't be as big diversity as it was in Modern Warf Warfare 3, but um, something like that to take your weapon through into the next prestige would be pretty cool. And finally, in this same interview with David Von Der Haar, he revealed that there will be no death streaks or final or last stand perks um, in Black Ops 2, only in the Zombies mode. So there will be in the Zombies mode, but not in the multiplayer mode, which is good news, great news, because everybody, I don't think anybody likes them, to be honest. Nobody likes them at all. Um, so the infamous perks, death streaks, blah, all those stuff, they're not going to be in the game, so we ain't got to worry about those anymore. Which is great news, and it's always great to end on a high, so thank you very much for watching. Please hit that like button if you're pumped for Black Ops 2. I cannot wait, I can tell you that. And um, check all my latest Black Ops 2 news videos on my channel and on the screen right now. But until my next video, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day, guys.